Virginia's embattled lieutenant governor is urging prosecutors in two states to investigate sexual assault allegations against him. Justin Fairfax spoke publicly yesterday for the very first time since Vanessa Tyson and Meredith Watson detailed their accusations. He said the women's allegations are not true. His comments came as Virginia lawmakers failed to agree on a proposal to have the women testify under oath. Jeff Begays is outside the Capitol in Richmond, Virginia, with more on this story. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. The two women at the center of this controversy say they want to testify in public, but chances are that hearing never happens. It would be unprecedented. It would be politically explosive. Fairfax, who is a Democrat, says it would not be the right vehicle to get at the truth. I knew that the allegations made against me were false from the moment I first heard them. That is why I denied them. Seeking to clear his name, Virginia's lieutenant governor, Justin Fairfax, released the results of two polygraph exams, each with questions about his encounters with Vanessa Tyson and Meredith Watson. Fairfax says he voluntarily took and passed both tests. Such conduct is against everything I have stood for in both my public and private life. Watson and Tyson went public with their allegations against the governor in February. They spoke with Gail King in interviews that aired this week. And he's holding my head so I can't lift, like I'm trying to lift my head, but I can't. Initially, there was a couch, and he pulled me over, and I tried several times to get up and was pushed back down, mm -hmm. held down. Fairfax disputes many of the details the women put forward, including when Tyson says they first met on July 26th at the 2004 Democratic Convention. Senator Edwards and I were not in Boston on that date. Fairfax maintains both encounters were consensual. I did not rape or sexually assault Meredith Watson. State Republicans have called for a bipartisan public hearing later this year that would pit Fairfax against his two accusers. Todd Gilbert is the majority leader. And wouldn't that just be a political stunt? This is, is too important and too compelling to be left to, um, to being framed as some sort of partisan effort. Fairfax has said he believes that a public hearing would only sensationalize the allegations against him, but his accusers say it offers complete transparency. Nora. All right, Jeff, Nora, thank Nora, you. That is exactly what they say. Someone asked me the other day, they asked me, well, Gail, have you seen the Mueller report? Uh, no. I think that that's why they want a hearing as opposed to an investigation. Okay. Something to think about.